dynamic breakpoints or the breakpoints by slash h is the number one choice for de debugging this is because uh, most of the time you do not know where to stop your breakpoint so you will either uh, do a very good calculated guess and figure out the function module or the subroutine or the select statements or some keywords and then put your breakpoint in on that um, on that objects right or on that select or on that loop or on that read on that function module uh, apart from dynamic breakpoint there is another thing called watch points so these are condition based breakpoints so what does that mean say you have an internal table which has data of more than 50,000 entries okay and in at the line or the row number 10,000th entry there is an issue so you want to know how that 1000th entry in the table behave so so you cannot keep on looping one by one one by one one by until you reach 10,000th entry so it will take all your time so what you have to do you have to put a watch point that means whenever the 10,000th line is reached stop your uh, program and stop it in a debugger mode or else keep continuing so let's see how you can push a, put a condition based uh, breakpoint which is known as watch points so i told you that uh, watch points are breakpoints attached to a condition so you want to analyze a program behavior when a certain record is uh, reached so that in those cases we want to use the watch points so how do you activate the watch points so you have to do the slash h uh, which is the dynamic breakpoints once you enter the debugger then you go from the menu bar the breakpoints and then create watch points do not worry i'll show you in a minute how to do that in sap system and then you will get a confirmation message watch point has been reached then click continue and then the debugger would stop at the whenever the condition is reached say you give a condition and it was never reached in your debugger you you wrongly put a watch point that means your debugger will never stop so you have to make sure that your watch point is correct now let's take a look in our sap system how to create a watch point and how to use it let's go to t code se38 and give our program okay and then i execute it now first i have to use the dynamic breakpoint slash h to just enter the debugger mode so your debugging switched on now i execute all right so it will take us to the debugger now i do not know where to put my debugger so what i'll do i'll just scan through the code and i'll say that okay whenever obj1 is reached stop okay so what we'll do we'll go up or breakpoints then create watch points so here I'll say obj1 so I look here I have free condition entry I'm not giving any entry here I am just saying that whenever obj1 is reached in the program stop it all right so I'll hit ok watch point created so where do you know whether watch point was created or not this message confirms and also you can go to this desktop view which is the tenth tab over here you can see watch points look here we have a watch point we do not have breakpoint because we entered using a dynamic breakpoint we did not create any hard breakpoint but we have created a watch point now let's go back to the main desktop so we have we don't know where the breakpoint is let's check that see so the the program will stop here at line number 93 but we have not given any breakpoint it is a watch point let's execute let's and hope that it stops there and you see here it stops at whenever the did you check the bottom it said obj1 reached okay this was a simple example where we did not give any value let's see one more time so i'll say stop uh, the watch point whenever or stop the breakpoint whenever the plan table is reached i know the plan table it is it underscore marcy so let's stop it there so i'll create another watch point over here i'll say it underscore marc so watch you look at watch point at variable it underscore marc so i'll say okay and it gives watch point reached i can con confirm in my uh, watch point window that 
another watch point has been created that is ITMARC. So whenever this variable is reached, just stop. So let's see where it stops. I hit continue now. So continue is also F8. I do that. Bingo. You see your watch point reached. IT underscore MARC watch point was reached. And this is the place where you have the first executable line of MARC. So this is simple. Now, now say you want to continue. You want to do F6. I want to go inside. I want to do F5 and see massage data. And now I reach into this table. Say uh, I will close this uh, tool. I'll see this MARA. There are 13 entries. So 13 is a small number. In real practical scenarios, you might have to deal with say 50,000 entries or even 100,000 entries or more than that. And in that 100,000 entries, one of the entry has a cause issue and you want to analyze it. So that would take a lot of time if you keep on doing one by one. If you look one by one, even for 50,000, it will take your whole uh, working hour. So, so I'll just check the entry. So I, I'll say that, okay, my entry number nine, this, this is causing, a, I think that this is causing an issue. I know that this material has some problem. Okay. So this material data with this material has problem. So I want to see how it behaves and where is it failing. All right. So what you have to do? We have to put a breakpoint on that particular material. So what I'll do, I will, I'll just copy that a number um, let's say I'll just this is my material number so what I'll do I'll go here again to the breakpoint keep in, take a note of this field this is LWMR this is where the object of the uh, or the table entry will save get saved some table entry IT Mara when it loops it puts the value to this work area and then going forward it takes value from this work area and then passes down in the loop so let's see how this we can stop here so breakpoint create watch point i'll say matnr and i'll give the value equals to i'll say the same value which we have saved here so whenever material number this is reached click ok see watch point is created now i have i can check the watch point whether it is created or not look here so it is created so whenever this variable with the value this is reached it is local to a procedure so what is the procedure procedure means it is local to this subroutine massage underscore data now you hit the continue look here watch point reached that means this field has a matner value of whatever we gave so we gave this value let's let's cross check it so i'll check here so we gave this whenever it's 270024 so what does it mean so this this table or this loop has already traversed through eight parts this is the ninth loop which look at the top value of the variable the site type x it is nine that means there were 13 entries and the first eight entries were already executed because this they did not stop here we did not stop till here so the moment it reached the ninth row, that is when our watch point was created or reached, it stopped. So that's the beauty. Now you can do your debugging here one by whatever you want to do. Say I want to check why it is failing. Say yes, I server says four. I, uh, it failed. Now I want to see oh, why did it fail. So it failed because this matter 24 did not find any entry in this table Marcy. Let's see Marcy. Marcy has no 24. Right? In this plan table, you do not have any material which is 24 then you have to figure out the do the analysis whether that error is correct or not it might be a genuine error since you do not have a plant which has this material so it is failing so you can give a answer to your functional team to your business team or you can say that okay why is that material not in this plant table then you have to ask your business say is it uh, is it a wrong data or is the program behaving properly so that's how you create a watch point all right so we'll see the actual scenario in the main program when we try to debug it again all right hope you understand what a watch point is so with this we end our part three section next we'll go and debug the real uh, sap transaction and a program end to end let's go to the next section